Good morning. Welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Wednesday, the 16th of August. Looking at the euro dollar first uh, from a daily perspective here. Well, yesterday sold off as it broken through the uh, trend line that I put on the uh, chart here. We've just broken that trend line. It, it's had a bit of a bounce late afternoon. At the moment, it's a pretty indecisive sort of move that we're seeing here. And it could be a bit of an indecisive day. The reason being, we at uh, 7 p.m. this evening, we've got the FOMC minutes uh, so uh, from the U.S., which uh, could create some volatility. We'll see what how um, the individuals uh, voted and uh, get a bit of idea, a bit more idea of the uh, thoughts um, of the members. So. Uh, whilst many of them have spoken afterwards, the, the FOMC meeting uh, minutes often create quite a bit of volatility. So we'll see how we go from there. Um, also this morning, we've got to average earnings. Now, this won't obviously affect the euro dollar so much, but uh, for the UK, it's the employment data coming out. So a couple of key numbers coming out. Um, got European flash GDP. That doesn't do very much at 10. Um, and building permits in the US and housing starts, um, very small numbers in terms of uh, the, the effect currently on the market. So um, that aside, oh, there's just one other number we should be looking at, probably more likely to affect the Canadian dollar is the crude oil inventories at 3.30. So yeah, that's, where, that's what we've got for today, news-wise. So uh, as I said, with the euro, I think we may ha we, it may get into a bit of a holding pattern uh, for want of better terms, but we'll see. It may, uh, uh, may, may give us some trades this morning, but uh, I certainly would expect it to be quiet down later in the afternoon. So at the moment, the form of four hour picture, it's not really giving me too much of a clue uh, from the daily, uh, from the hourly picture, um, not much more of a clue, just had a bit of a sell off there, just got a little bit oversold on the shorter time frames, but um, just uh, bouncing into the uh, monthly, uh, sorry, weekly pivot there and uh, bouncing off it, should I say. Where to? Well, the, the trend is this lower highs, lower lows is, is, is pretty much there. It's whether or not we've seen a, um, a, a change of direction here at the moment. The, 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 the RSI on the low yesterday was lower than the previous. There wasn't a divergence on the hourlies here or anything like that. Um, it's, I, I think we just need to wait for direction and break above the 34, maybe a bit more bullish back towards the 50, uh, 200 MAs back, uh, maybe the R1 above. Um, likewise, if it continues in the direction we could be seeing a, a, that we're seeing at the moment, this sort of downward move, it could easily carry, continue on through this morning and push towards uh, yesterday's lows there in the S1. So it's uh, just a wait and see case with the euro for now. Pound. Pound to me is more bearish overall, but uh, it is sitting currently on this uh, uh, daily 100 or weekly tw uh, weekly 20 um, uh, moving average. So it's uh, obviously uh, been spotted as doing that. It's had a little bounce off of it. it you can see back here we've uh, um, touched it before, so it's not the first touch. So uh, a break of that level um, may, may see us running further south. It does look a bit more bearish in the picture and four alley here. It's uh, it's looking like it's just in a bit of a, again, a bit of a holding pattern. It's on the weekly pivot, so it's already through its S2 there. So uh, certainly looking erring more weak on the weaker side. Yesterday I had dis uh, discussed the sort of lows around these prior lows here and the potential for its breakthrough where it certainly did that. Um, but now, uh, say, sitting there currently in a bit of a holding pattern, but could... Uh, could continue in that way. Um, it had extreme yesterday, um, and it pretty much um, in the afternoon there it pushed down extreme, and it's pretty much worked that extreme off. It may may pip down a bit lower again later. We'll see. Now there is the potential that, uh, for it to run up to the daily um, daily pivot. We have got news this morning. I'd probably steer clear of it until post news. Uh, and, and see what happens then. But uh, if it was to give a very good early trade to the upside, if it starts breaking the prior highs there, maybe uh, we could trigger a, a long position back to pivot to the 34. Um, and uh, if, we, if it happens quick enough, but uh, obviously a risk with the news coming out. Dolly Yen. 
dolly in pull in a beautiful pivot swing which i mentioned yesterday it's pushed on further uh yesterday and it looks like it really wants to push on towards that monthly pivot at the moment from a four hour perspective perfect in terms of the the shape of it mostly um a couple of spikes up there shooting star but uh, price has just got ignored it and continued pushing for now at least a 60 minute point of view yes we have got the daily pivot below us so any any breakdown of the 21s may sit uh, pull back towards that uh, level but at the moment i'm erring uh, still on obviously from the trend it's a it's a bullish trend i think quite even pull managed to pull back to 21s there which is a bit a bit of an unusual would expect it to pull back a little bit more but at the moment pushing up towards yesterday's highs got the potential to push up towards the daily r1 at some point if it continues as I said, though, I, I do imagine that we could just to get into more of a, a consolidation as we run through the morning into the afternoon. Aussie dollar, uh, Aussie dollar selling off and again trending pretty well to the downside here from a daily perspective. Um, overall, uh, looking from a four hour perspective, you just sort of bring it down. You can see the lower highs, lower lows, had, to, had a little chip up in the beginning of the week on the Monday. Uh, through the Asian session there, but uh, I did nothing much more than just uh, put in, <laughs> allow us to run through to more lower lows really. At the moment, well, it could be rallying back towards, um, well, it's already gone through a daily pivot actually, uh, but maybe back towards that 50, that, although that's been tested before. If it does get tested, it'll be interesting to see if it gets broken. Any break, well, look for it to push maybe up to the R1, um, or even if it gets uh, any uh, really i think the fomc would decide this later but well then in which case it could push through these previous highs and lows but for now my preference is to the downside on it if i was trading it and i'd be looking for any breakdown of maybe the the, the current trend up here watch for the breakdown of that and see if we can be playing it back towards yesterday's lows that's the aussie dollar and finally the canadian dollar Again, the preference here is really to the upside at the moment. Again, we've got oil data coming out later, which may change this, and of course the FOMC, so uh, could get quite a bit of a change on it later on. But you can see from the four hourly the trend of the higher lows, higher highs. Similar picture to the uh, Aussie dollar, which is no surprising, bearing in mind they're both uh, related to um, oil and. etc um looking at the 60 minute uh, canadian dollar here uh, consolidated and quite a mess at the moment but uh, the very fact it hasn't sort of rolled over a little bit more and it's just holding up here does, does make me uh, wonder whether we're going to break there's a trend line that runs across the the high there I wonder if we'll get a break of this uh, oops when he, when he finally gets the trend line on uh, if we get a break of this could see us running up to yesterday back up to yesterday's highs the s1 area uh, sorry, R1 area. There we go. Um, any any continued consolidation? As I said, we've got oil and um, uh, FOMC out, which may affect it later. So uh, it, it, I'm not going to be too surprised, even if we just got it to sort of run back into sort of the Asian session highs there and just stopped and just chopped. So um, it, it could be, as I say, quite old day today. Um, right, that's it for me. Have a great one, and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye for now.